here you have my hollow belly. It's on a tube. I tied this one up on Eagle Claw Chemically Shopping 3366. Is that a no? That's a Mustad. Excuse me, Mustad number. Bass hook. Got your trailer hook on there. I use a little clamp just like that. Hold it out the way. You can buy a whole bunch of these. I showed you before in my other videos. I haven't seen all my videos. Shame on you. A couple bucks, you can get a whole bunch of them. Makes a nice material clip. And let's get to it. We're going to make a saltwater one. I can show you one I already made up. I use prismatic tape on this. I'm talking a little funny because I got 25 pound line in my mouth. Nice red lice. And good thing about this Norvice, helps you time faster because you can spin them flies on and bam, you can be fishing. Alrighty. First thing we're going to do, get our hook in there. This here is a chemically sharpened O'Shaughnessy. I happen to like Eagle Claw Made in America 254Ms. That's a 2 watt. As you can see, that Norvice spins right in. Some people ask me what vice auto spins. They only see the front of it. None of them. Nice locking device. Patented by Norm Norlander. I sell them also. Just get a little bit more extra income because I like the heck out of them. Started selling them because people were bugging me for them and bugging me. Anyway, 25 pound test. You can normally have that out, but teeth gonna wear on that. So, what do we do? We're gonna take and pass this 25 pound test. You can use more. That give you a 50 pound right there. And with the give in your fly rod, you're going to have plenty of holding power for those 50 inch, in, 50 inch stripers, big reds, gobia. Heck, that'll even hold a couple tuna. Because the fly rod, what gives? Using hollow belly, I'm going to get these two up here to touch like that let's get you zoomed in a little bit you can see get those touched in like that took me a couple tries to get a good tape manufacturer now you can trim these off a little bit straight I happen to use some curves gives a nice belly look to it real easy now I'm going to use a bright thread on this one so you can see it. And start right there. Get you back just a little bit. We're going to wrap that thread on. Now we're going to take that little doohickey we just made up and we're going to slide that through the eye. I showed you on my other tandem hooked videos on how to get it a little more secure if you want. This is all you need. You could even use a piece of wire if you wanted. Come down through this eye like that. We're going to give it just a little bit of play. You could adhere it and take your thread up on there and keep it nice and tight. But I want a little bit of play in this so it flashes and shines and fish don't tear it up too much. Give it two there, three, one, two, three there, and we're going to keep it out on top. If that goes a little sideways, it don't really matter. 
because it's going to be all covered up and it's going to be held by that thread. Now here's where this clip comes in handy. Put that clip on there and you're going to get this wrapped up and BAM you're going to be out fishing. They're going to see that shine, BAM they're going to take it and BAM fish on. Okay I did that one a little light blue. Well let's make this one here light blue with black. Let's make this one here a little light blue. You can use whatever colors, whatever material you want. Here, cut that straight. Now I pull that out. That gets a little angled. I'll make sure I'm a little angled right back there. And I'll zoom you out. I want that to go back, hide my hook a little bit. Couple loose, pull it tight. Work it back just a little bit. Pull all them strands right there. If you want to add a little flash, you could add a little flash. But look at that hollow belly. Hooey! Okay. And I had a little blue on that bass pike one. Let's get a little purple on here. There's a little, give a little hint of a back. You know how to back of them old bait fish just a little darker. Why is that? Well, pretty much you're looking down in water, you see a dark bottom. You look up, you see a light sky. That's the camouflage, light underneath, dark on top. That right there, we'll spread all that out. Oh! I'm gonna let the whip finish. I'll just put a couple half hitches because it's gonna get glued up. Low temp glue. Y'all seen them before in my other videos? You haven't seen them in my other videos? Shame on you. Don't know what you're missing. Alrighty, now I've been doing floating heads. Let me put a green laser head on there, give it a little more contrast. Been having a little problem getting all this stuff listed because I'm fixing to move on up to the North Star Borough outside of Fairbanks. Probably inevitable when I name my company Polaris Flies, I'd be moving up to Polaris Borough one day. Two exes who didn't fish and tried to keep me from fishing. Whew, shame on that. Get that right there. Got this folded over. It'll come in right there. And I showed you on the other videos. I'm going to hold that. Kind of wrap that underneath. Go under like that. See how that holds together? Get a little bit right there. Let's trim low temp hot melt glue best place to get the guns and the glue Walmart matter of fact they sell you get them while you get in that clip they sell 100 packs of that glue cheaper than they do 50 packs it was under four bucks but everything's going up so there's that you can see the shine in that whatever eyes you can put on there. This will stay right underneath the surface because this has a little buoyancy. The hook's going to counteract that a little bit. Anything made of plastic is going to be just a little buoyant. Specific gravity, especially in salt water, of plastics is a lot less. What does specific gravity mean? Pretty much it's lighter. And we'll go back right there. I'm running out of time on this video. And here you can see that shining. That's going to shine. And there you done.